go. Um, we just, as usually, make sure we're live and everything works as expected. Twitch does tend to do some weird stuff. Okay, man. Okay, man, where's my stream quality? There we go. That looks fine. All right. I think we're good. <clears throat> All right. Uh, hi, everyone. How's it going, team here? And uh, this is finally a programming live stream. So it's been quite a while, I think, like more than two weeks, actually. But uh, as you can see here, I finally have my new setup. There's some acoustic foam here, microphone with uh, arm and pop filter and everything. So the sound should be quite much nicer than before. Uh, and uh, we can finally jump in and finish our chat and then switch to doing uh, the Electron.js stuff, basically, you know, auto updates, packaging, all that kind of stuff that we're interested in. It's gonna see how that works. But uh, for now, let's just finish the chat. So last time we did the um, uh, basic server that just does nothing right now. It's actually just out of the clients and uh, logs the messages, which is not exactly helpful. So. What I'm gonna do now is I am gonna, um, so, okay, let me think a bit. Uh, so we got the chat sessions with the chat key and we actually need a object here, right? So we, because we need to track uh, clients and we need to track messages. Okay, and in this case, uh, clients, yeah, that's, that's so I'm, I'm what I'm gonna do. We don't need this clients thing actually, because we don't care about clients uh, outside of the context of the episodes and, and uh, series. So we're gonna do this, right? Uh, yes, I'm gonna do this and this. And that means, uh, yes, I'm gonna do that. Client is connected. And uh, what we need to do is, if um, so basically what I want to do is that if clients are uh, empty, then I'm gonna just say, um, what was it chat key, we gonna re emit it, right? So uh, I'm gonna do it this way. So this is um, so chat session storage, and then initial uh, session state initial uh, session state, let's do it this way. Um, please format, no, uh, what did I, what did I screw up? I scrubbed it, right? In session state, there we go, I'll format it, there we go, okay. So, uh, and uh, we don't wanna, don't wanna actually copy that, right? Because if we just assign the same object to everything, it's gonna be a bit of a mess. So I'm just gonna do a shallow copy of the object. That should be sufficient in this case. I mean, in reality, of course, you don't really wanna do it in memory because you know we're just storing it in an object and as soon as you restart the server, all your chats are gone. So if, if you were doing a real chat app, you would have a proper database here and then you wouldn't care about cleaning that stuff You know, after all the clients disconnect because it should have been persistent. But since memory is limited, I just wanna wipe it all and um, be done with it basically. Um, I, oh right, I don't actually need to do that. That that was completely unnecessary. I'm being like this. We have an absolutely terrible weather here and I've been half asleep for the past four days. It's like, and I'm doing a lot of stupid mistakes right now. So we actually need to do that. We need to say messages equal new array, right? So we only wipe messages because uh, clients are already empty. Right, okay, so we cleaned up on close and what we need to do is we need to say that, um, so first of all, we take this message and say chat sessions from chat key, messages push, right? So we get that stuff. Then after that, we, get, we say chat sessions, uh, chat key, bleh, oh, come on, I'm even pressing the wrong buttons, clients, um, and then, uh, so okay, first I'm gonna filter out uh, client so that the client UUID is not equal this client. So basically, okay, let's do it this way. Um, filter out current client. So because we don't need to send this message to ourselves again, right? And then just do for, uh, no, that's not what I want. For each, um, 
So VS, VS send, and I'm gonna send message. So basically I'm, I'm going through, uh, yeah, I guess, let's just call it V then, because this is gonna collapse with the name of the um, above in the, in the scope. Okay, that fits, uh, what do you not like? That, that's longer than it's supposed, okay, no, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what we want, right? Um, send message to all clients. <clears throat> um, theory, wait, you, no, ugh, okay. Something is, I guess, can you do that? No, maybe you reformat that anyway. No, you want, okay, good. This is what we want. Okay, uh, let's just leave it here for now. So we push the message into message log, we send it to all the clients. And then uh, on new connection, we should actually, uh, okay, so first of all, this is gonna be chat session, uh, chat key clients. Again, this is debug information that we can dump later on. So once it's connected, what we wanna do is we wanna say, um, we wanna take all our messages, right? So what do we already have in this chat session and say for each message and send them to the current client, right? Uh, message. Now the question is, do I, I am, so we got this uh, express VS. Now I'm, I'm always forgetting if you need to encode them, like do the string encoding because I think WebSockets only allow strings. Uh, wait a second, WebSocket. Let's have a look at the docs and check. Uh, so we got a WebSocket. I think it only accepts strings, so we have to do like JSON encode, JSON decode. Uh, uh, send, DOM string, yeah, so it's, it is a string. So basically what we need to do here is we need to say JSON stringify message and uh, where else here, right? JSON stringify message, there you go. Okay, we don't really have send anywhere else, right? There's only two instances. Okay, so theoretically that should actually be enough uh, for a chat, like for a server side, like very dumb chat, obviously it's not perfect, like far from perfect, but um, I think it should work. So now let's go to the client here and uh, Okay, so we connect to the chat and uh, on open, we don't care. So once we get the message, uh, const message is gonna be a JSON parse, right? Events data, so this is our message. Uh, let's do it this way, message and um, 10 to 10. We don't really have any send right now, right? So. Uh, what we also need is to somehow distinguish the user. So I guess in this case, which is gonna allow user to pick his username somehow, maybe settings or, or maybe right here before he starts chatting. Um, okay, but before we do that, so we need to implement send functionality because otherwise we won't really be able to see anything, right? So I guess let's start with the username. Mm, let me think. Uh, da, 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 da. So we need to say uh, username is gonna be undefined. And uh, in this case, we are gonna say, okay, so if, okay, this is fine, chat history, we can show it right away. But basically, unless he has a username, he cannot send anything. So we're gonna say, uh, no, that's gonna screw up my formatting. So I'm gonna do it this way. So const username this state, right? And then it's gonna be username. If it exists, then we're gonna show this stuff. Now, where is it ends? No, here, I think, right? No, ah, come on, that's, yeah, I think this one is, right? There we go, okay, format, perfect. Okay, so this is gonna be on the, sh the send button will only show up if we have username and if there is no username. Um, so I'm gonna split it into two nice um, divs, let's put it this way. Um, div guy, so it's gonna be flex as well. And I mean, the only difference here should be, so it should be exactly the same, but it should talk about, this is gonna be, um, 
pick a username, right? Ta -da -ta, margin 10, whatever button info, primary, let's make it primary, set username. So let us check that it actually works, here on start. Okay, there we go, um, come on, work. Maybe a good idea to also update the, um, what do you call them, updated dependencies because we haven't done that in quite a while. Okay, so we got the chat history, we got the big username thing going on around. Uh, let me pause that, uh, obviously that won't work. Now, uh, okay, on click, so you are gonna set this set username, right? Uh, and in this case, we actually need to put a reference here because we need some way to address this input, right? So there's gonna be username input. We're gonna say that this uh, username input equals you, right? So we just store the reference to it. And uh, it's gonna be set username, which means that we take this uh, username input uh, value const username and uh, just do this set state username, right? That's all we actually need to do. And if it's not empty, then we should see it switch to the send chat button. Come on, uh, okay. Takes a bit of time to get there, but we're, we're doing it, we're doing it. Okay, come on, let's pause that stuff. Okay, test, set username, perfect. So uh, now we're actually getting to the send part. And uh, let me think. So we need uh, on click here, which will say this uh, send message, right? So we're gonna get send message over here. And we also need a reference here. Um, this is gonna be M whatever this message input equals M. So we save the reference, reformat the whole thing. And now here, so message is gonna be, come on, this message input value. Um, we're gonna add some basic checks here. So if message is non-existent or message value, uh, no, sorry, not value length is less than say two symbols, three, whatever. We're just gonna return and say, you know, you can't really send that. Uh, otherwise, we are gonna say this socket um, send, and then we're gonna say JSON stringify, and we're gonna say user, this state username. And then message is gonna be, uh, okay, message, so it's just a shortcut. And then uh, time, new date, so it's just gonna be that. That should be sufficient, I think. Ah, you know what, I'm actually screwed up. We do need, we don't, we don't actually need to filter him out, right? Because once you send the message to server, you wanna see it. And if we filter this self out, we have to add it from client and we don't know when it has been delivered. So this is actually, this is this simplifies it quite a lot. Um, let me start our um, socket server uh, over here, node index. There you go, okay, and then yarn start. Okay, come on. So theoretically, we now should be able to send stuff and uh, we should be able to see the network tab at least uh, when we receive it. Uh, what? No, 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 that's not what I want. Uh, yes, there you go, come on. Pause that stuff, so test. Where is our WebSocket connection? Over here, right? So that's our, it's empty as expected. Test, oh, I, whatever, send, uh, does that, they actually do anything. Uh, doesn't seem, okay, what did I forget? Uh, wait, did I actually assign it? Send message, yes I did. We don't like, not interactive, yeah, okay, that's we can handle later. Um, that is a good question, message. 
Okay, wait, did I? Why did I screw up? So we have the message input, right? So it's assigned. Message, message length. Uh, so if not, okay, that seems correct. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm an idiot. Of course. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, let me kill that. Restart, uh, no, restart that again. Right. But wait a second, that should have actually shown when our client connected, right? Why is there's no logging? Okay, I am slightly confused. Where is my logging? I mean, we do have a WebSocket connection here, right? Yeah, there it is. And it connects to the localhost 3000. And uh, okay, I, I am very confused right now, but whatever, let us try and see if it actually works. So frames, there you go. Okay, so we actually do get stuff back. Data length time, um, or is it the data sent from us? But then why is there no logs? Okay, wait a second, what the hell? Um, yeah, so where's my logs? Thing, why are you not working as expected? Okay, you know what, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm slightly confused and I'm gonna do that just to be sure. So log listening on there you go <coughs> oh, excuse me okay okay so there are logs um, now the question is what the hell is going on all right let us restart the this bit and see it was working last time I tried right I mean <laughs> If I watch my old li live stream, it was there and it was working. Did something update it and screwed everything up or did I forget something? So font, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. JPEG, WebSocket, there we go. It's our WebSocket, right? Okay, why is it empty? Test. Right, okay. Wait a second, did I maybe commented too much stuff over here? Message from, so we theoretically should see, no, there's no message from server here. What am I missing? What did I forget to do? Um, so on open, let me just maybe console log. WebSocket is now open, just, just I mean, maybe it's not, not open yet, but okay. Time for some, a bit of debugging to figure out what the hell's going on. I thought it would be a pretty brief episode where we just make everything work and, you know, publish it, but nah, nah, never happens like this. Right, WebSocket is now open. So WebSocket does connect and it seems to be working just fine. Now here's the WebSocket, right. This still doesn't say anything. I wonder why. Am I missing something? So we did that chat sessions, clients push. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so I guess it just throws in the background because I forgot that bit and just quietly fails essentially, which is, come on, I mean, you have to, Ah, okay, there's downsides of some libraries that don't catch the errors correctly within them. Synchronous code is hard. Okay, now it should work. Right? Right? There we go, okay, that looks correct. So we now have this here, yeah, clients and stuff. Uh, let me pause that stuff. Test, ASD, and there we go, there's our message. Okay, cool. So uh, what we need to do is we need to say that we have a messages, right, which are empty on the construction of the thing. And uh, we should also uh, empty them on uh, episode change because basically the chat should redraw itself. 
Right, okay, so we don't care about this anymore, I guess. Uh, I mean, we, I guess we can block. Theoretically, if we were doing a whole thing properly, it would be good to block the whole again. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I don't want to do shitty work. So um, connected false, right? So we're going to say and then we're going to say connected false over here as well. And then once we are connected, we're going to do this set state connected true, right? Because we need to know when we can actually send messages back. And unless this is true, uh, we shouldn't actually allow user to do that. We are gonna like here placed after set username. Um, okay, I can place it after set username. That's not a big problem. Right. Um, let me think so and that means that if we are we take this connected from here and we also need messages by the way username messages connected so if we are not connected we just say tan, tan, tan. Um, yeah that should be returned uh, oh oh there we go. Okay, I no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, and then there should be like loading here or connecting, I guess, right would be the, the right word connecting. There you go. Okay. Once we are connected it should show the history. So and then here will be the history, which means we're going to say messages map message to um, let's see, Bulma IO. Let's find some nice style for it. I, there, I think there was some cards or something that we. Oh no! Wait a second. They even better. They had this. Oh, what was it called? Uh, was it components? Media object. There we go. It's it's exactly what we want. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna do components. Uh, chat. Yeah, maybe we just create a new. New file here. Uh, no, not folder, please message js there you go and uh, just gonna do export default i don't think we need a class here because we just uh, no this should not be it so we take this thing and we're gonna tweak it a bit right yeah okay da, 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 da. class name here you go what, what, oh, image is not closed. Uh, we don't really need image here. Uh, break is not closed. There you go. Okay. So we got the props, which will say message. This is going to be our message. We don't need image. We need content. This is going to be strong. This is going to be a message user, right? We don't care about that part. And this is going to be message. Uh, text I believe it was message message okay that's, that's a bit silly but whatever uh, user text we don't care about that part and we don't care about that part so it's, it's really very simple um, what did I screw up and determined oh I erased one div too many okay that no cut come on there you go okay good so now we are gonna say our packages and import a message from message right and then over here we're just gonna say map into message with message equals um, let's let's just call it m because i want i want to have long names um there you go okay theoretically if we restart that stuff now it i what Ah, okay, I screwed something up as well. Um, chat session client, yeah, chat key. Uh, you know what? I am just gonna simplify that thing and say const session and alias it because I screwed up in way too many places. That means it's not a very nice way to handle it. So if session, uh, we actually, no. Uh, wait a second so we we need to initialize it and then transfer it to session variable alias it and here after all these things we're just gonna say session 
right? And let's just check chat sessions. We should not have any more chat sessions references anywhere. Session. Session, right? Chat sessions. Perfect. So uh, theoretically, that that should work better than before. Let's see if that works. So um, in theory, that actually is. So we are finished with chat. If that works, we need to launch one or two more instances of um, our app and check if that actually works. Okay, let's pause that. Test ASD. Message from server. Um, all right, I'm, I'm, of course. Of course, yeah. Why would I put the messages from server into our state? Uh, so what we need to do is say messages, right? This state, and then we say this set state. So we say messages. Uh, okay, it's gonna be all messages. Const messages is gonna be all messages concat. No, concat. Come on, with our new message. And then we're going to sort them a b so that a date is smaller than b date i believe right i always screw up sorting by the way this is one thing i, I always forget and <laughs> go to references to see if i did it correct just to know you know if that's actually reverse or not but we're going to find it in a second so in theory Come on, there we go. Test and ASD send a unique key. Yes, I did forget about that. Okay, um, what we're gonna do is something that is usually done with IDs, but in our case, we're just gonna use the iterator from uh, map, which is I mean, it's, it's fine. It works. It works for this case. Like normally you would use the database ID for that because it's way more reliable and you know, you will have truly unique keys for them while using I is uh, not recommended. Let's put it this way. There we go. And um, where's my message? That's a good question. Um, let's see if it actually renders anything. Come on, flex article media, yes. So why is it not, it is so tiny. Oh, it's, it's actually empty. Now that's interesting. Um, so this is M, right? Messages. So message is already parsed, right? So yeah, um, wait a second. But uh, wait, it's, it's, it's plain string here, so it's not parsed. I already parsed it. What the hell? JSON parse it and data. Wait, wait a second. So here's our WebSocket, right? In a frame, I get yes, I get this string. Oh, so it is JSON. It is JSON. JSON encoded. Um, did I encode a bit too much? Wait a second. So when we send it, we do JSON stringify. So event data, let's see the server again, uh, we get, oh, okay. So in this case, which means, right. Since I already get stringified stuff, I don't really need to do that on server twice. Okay, good. Okay, do that, restart that. And now it should be working, I hope. Let's see. Okay, berserk, whatever episode. Pause it, test, set username, ASD, send. Nice, okay, so we are missing timestamp. Um, what was it? So there was this small thing. Can just do it here. Can say um, message, what was the field name? Uh, b -b 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 date, date was it, I think? Time, ah. I even screwed up everything. Okay, date. Let's use date. Tool. Um, 
Now I'm always forgetting how to do that properly. Let me start a um, REPL const d new date d to um, okay. Wait a second. New, okay, REPL doesn't help much. To locale date string. Yeah, so we're gonna do it this way. So we're gonna say to locale date string and then the other bit is gonna be to locale time string, right? So we were gonna separately print the date and time in the user locale, which should look nice. Okay, I don't need that anymore, close it. Um, and yeah, we need to test the ordering because I'm still not sure if I did it correctly. Right, let's see, come on. I think we're basically done. So if nothing else breaks, uh, something broke. Duh. Oh, it's a string there. Okay, so I what I need to do is I actually need to say return. So we need to, to actually convert this day, right? Uh, um, const d or okay, date new date message date that's what we want and then here instead of message date we're just gonna use date and that should fix it hopefully let's see okay come on there we go pause this test ASD. There we go. Looks nice. Or nice enough, I guess. Swap the time and date places that will be a bit more human friendly. Um, so oh, yeah, we need to test that does not look nice. <laughs> okay, what did I screw up? Uh, I think it's the um, flexbox ordering right here. It seems to be the opposite of what we want. So it should be flex direction column. There we go. This is what we want here. Uh, this should be here in chat. Yes, and this flex direction um, come on, column. There you go. Okay, so we're fixed that we're fixed that and the ordering seems to be correct. So for once, I didn't screw that up. Now we need to test the second client, right? So I'm going to fire up another instance of Electron over here. So I don't care about the uh, consoles for now. I mean, in fact, we can just close them because it doesn't matter. Come on. Is it is it not working because it's conflicting with the um, Seriously, I can test it this way. Are you not working because you're trying to load from the same database that's already open? E you failed to open any, yeah, okay. God damn it. Um, that's a bit annoying, but okay. So theoretically it should work. And if I restart this now, we should be able to, oh no, it, it should wipe it, right? So the, the messages are now should be empty. Let's check if that actually is a fact. Um, so whatever saying that we need to look at the same episode, right? There we go. Okay. So test is the what we need to do is we need to clean that input. So value equal this. Uh, this is one thing and the other thing is that we need to send a message on uh, enter right on key up i guess it will be event uh, this handle message key event okay so event um what do we need to do if e key? Oh, wait a second. React key event. What was it? Key, key, key pressed or key num or just key. 
synthetic events. Yes, this is what I want. Maybe even stack overflow because why the hell not? Uh, key, yes, it's just key equals enter. Um, so prevent default. Basically, we don't want to send slash n there. And we just say this send message and return false. Right? Okay, uh, this doesn't help. Okay. I think that's actually it for the chat. I mean, I would need to compile the app and run it separately with a separate ID, I guess. Uh, oh, I guess we can do that. So ASD, there we go. Enter test, works. Okay, so what we can do now is we can go over here in package, change the app name to test, for example, because that should change its identifier, I believe. And uh, starts, that should be a different app. Yeah, there we go, okay. So theoretically, yes, there we go. That's exactly what I want. So we're gonna open, uh, no, that's, that's an Naruto, we need the, Need Berserk, right? Where is it? Here it is. So there we go. 23, I believe. Uh, no, it's not 23. We, okay, here's the question. Which which episode do we have here? Let's go back uh, 21, 22. Okay, let's go for 21, for example. Right? Test. One of three. Okay, so now twenty-one over here. Oh, we had it's like a completely separate entity. Okay, there we go. So we got our messages. Uh, user two. Hello, right? And as you can see, it works perfectly well. We did. We finished the chat. So great. That's now working. Uh, let me revert that change. Um, okay, we did that. What do you don't like about his? Uh, Blah, 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 consistent return, uh, yeah, return true. And are you happy now? Okay, um, I think we're actually good. So we uh, some prop validation missing, but that seems to be fine. Okay, cool. Now let's stop all of that stuff. Um, git add source, git add chat server. So just to make sure that we are good here. Yeah, it looks fine. So this stuff works, we know about it. Um, this is our message rendering. This is our WebSocket stuff, client chat, cool. Uh, finish WebSocket chat on a server and in client in app, let's put it this way. Um, right, so gonna push that. So basically what's left is, um, I guess, let me just outline what I'm gonna do next. So the first thing I will do is I will uh, record an episode that will cover the chat because this is something that so far has been discussed only in live streams. This is gonna be the next episode. And uh, once this is done, we're gonna switch to doing um, the electron based uh, or electron related things, let's call it this way. It's gonna be um, packaging, deploying, updating, testing electron specific things. I mean, so the thing is that basically, uh, if you look at the code that we wrote, then most of it is actually very close to what we already did in building products with JS. And you already know how to test it. So I, I don't see any reason to, you know, go through this again and test each and every of those components just to show you, you know, again, how to test components. It's, it's like, it seems like a bit of a waste of time for me, but there are some things uh, that we do need to test. Like we have our um, authentication methods, for example, that do indeed uh, spawn a new browser windows. So, and you know, I think this is, this is the bit that is interesting to test. This is the bit that, that is very electron specific. And that is kind of what, what's, what you want to know how to test, right? Uh, so I, I'm not going to 
go ahead and test all of those methods because once again, it's just functions and testing it is not particularly hard. You throw in something, it returns the episodes, you ch check if it was the same episodes you expected and you're done. So nothing fancy here, nothing tricky. I'm not gonna do that. If you are interested in testing, go watch the old series. It covers all of that. But I will talk about how to test Electron GS itself. And um, aside from that, I don't really think we need to test much because I mean, it's basically just React app at this point and testing React is that simple. PouchDB also quite simple. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think there's actually anything here. Aside from those authentication methods that spawn, um, what do you call it? Browser windows, so like Electron JS specific things, uh, nothing is really worthy of delving deep into. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay with that. Okay, uh, but yeah, I think that's it for today. So um, once again, that, that's my new audio setup. So do let me know in comments uh, what you think about it. How's the audio quality? Um, because I'm you know I'm interested. I think there's like still some like small frequencies that are slightly annoying. So I'm thinking about how to get rid of them, but I don't know how much, you know, maybe you don't hear it at all on your uh, sound setup. Maybe it's just me like hearing it in the headphones or whatever. So do let me know if that's fine for you or if you want me to like twinkle um, a bit more and figure this out and fix it. Uh, yeah, I think that will be it for today. Thank you for watching. And as usual, I see you next time. Bye.